I am totally new to the video game, so I hope you'll bear with me and be patient with me because it is all totally new. Today is my very first video. I'm going to show you how to make my purple pow pow chow chow. A lot of you know a uh, southern favorite is the chow chow that you put on your beans or your greens or any of that good stuff. And this stuff just makes it even better. This is my purple pow pow chow chow. As you can see, it's really pretty and purple. And the pow pow part is because it's so hot. You're gonna need a six inch ish head of purple cabbage. If you don't use purple cabbage, you don't get the purple for the purple pow pow. Very important. I have two red onions, which to me look more purple than red. We're gonna put those in there. Of course, you can use any kind of onion you like. I just thought these would add to the color and they'll have a good flavor. The wonderful thing about Chow Chow is you can put just about anything from your garden in it. I happen to find these giant cucumbers left on the vine. So we're gonna use everything but the ends and the seeds inside. We're gonna leave the skin on. I have two of those. And as you can see, they're very large. I also bought some beautiful bell peppers to go in as well. Now, like I said, anything can go. You can use squash, you can use green tomatoes, you can use red tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomatoes. I have a very mixed bag of tomatoes here. Um, I cut all of my tomatoes except the romas off of the stems because the cutworms were getting them really bad so i have all of these tomatoes and you can see they are not perfect this is semi ripe and it has a bad place which i'll just cut out um this one's a little wrinkly but that's all right it'll work just fine i have some romas so variety and then, of course, for the pow pow, we got to have some hot. So I have my little Tabasco peppers that I grew. I did not grow jalapenos this year, but I plan to next year. And I have seven jalapenos here and about a cup and a half-ish of the um, Tabasco peppers. You can use whatever kind of peppers you want. These work well. So. I'm going to get started chopping. I will show you bits and pieces of that, but I won't make you suffer through the whole time. So we'll get started. I will show you this chopping in a minute. All right, here we go. Some people like to use a food processor. I prefer to do it all by hand. That way I know the size that I'm getting. And I won't have any big chunks left in there. It's just the way I like to do it. So I'm gonna continue on chopping this up and I will show you the result when I'm all finished. Okay, so you see I've got the whole thing chopped up and it almost filled my bowl. So I'm gonna have to get a larger bowl after I cut a few more things up, but we'll go ahead and start cutting the onions next. I forgot to mention to you at the beginning of this video, this is a two day process. After we get all the vegetables 
chopped up, we will soften them down with about a quarter cup of salt and get it all mixed in there really good. The salt will draw out the water or a lot of the moisture, not all, but a lot of the moisture from all of the different vegetables. So, and then it will sit overnight on the counter. It does not have to be refrigerated. And then it, tomorrow we will um, cook it down with some spices and it'll be ready to put in cans jars actually so i'm going to chop this onion and i'll be back with you as soon as i've gotten this complete well there we go got the onions chopped and added to the cabbage it's really pretty so we're just going to go ahead and proceed to cutting up the bell peppers which won't take long at all. So I'll talk at you a little bit while I do this first one, just so you can see the way that I do the peppers. I know everybody has their own technique. This is just mine. I don't like to peel it away from the seed pod. Like that. So that you and I may cut a little of the side off here. Pull that little skin out. You don't have to get all of the seeds. It really doesn't matter. Um, leave all of the seeds in the uh, hot peppers anyway so you might as well not worry too much with the bell pepper seeds either so I'm just going to continue chopping and I'll get back with you as soon as I get all three of these bell peppers cut up See you shortly. So now we're getting some pretty color going. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Turn the light here and give a little more light there. There, beautiful. All right, now we're gonna start cutting up tomatoes. I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, my bowl is getting pretty full. So, I've decided not to use all of those red tomatoes, and I'm just going to try to use these green ones, maybe four or five large size. These are all small to medium, so we're going to say that about four of this, if you put these three together and made it one tomato, about four of that size. So, I'm gonna continue cutting that and I will just talk to you while I do that. So you can just see the little process I got going on here. I cut the bloom end off. The stem end, I should say. That was the stem end. size with the size I just don't want any large chunks so there you go I'm gonna do okay so that one plus these two we're gonna count as one large we're going to count that as one large, and we're going to count this as one large. So, about that many green tomatoes is what I'm putting into this chow chow. I'll be back when I get those cut up, and we will do the cucumbers, and then after that, 
the peppers. Okay, so as you see, I've gotten the green tomatoes cut up and added in, and it just looks really, really pretty with all the different colors. Uh, green and purple, I love together anyway, so there you go, and that pretty. I'm gonna start working on these cucumbers that I've already cut these ends off of, and I thought about grating them, which is what I would normally do. I just grate it down to the to the seed, but for this video, I'm just going to pull the seeds out and chop them up. I'll just show you how I do that. Cut them all in half, and we're just going to take a spoon and go down through there and just get that seed part from the middle out. So that all we have is the meat and the peel. And we're gonna do that to all of these. And it won't take long. And then I will come back and show you the finished product there. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one up so you'll see how it really doesn't matter. You don't want too big a chunks or the salt won't draw out enough of the juices so you know you don't want big chunks so this is how I do it and this works just fine and again if you should get a cucumber seed in with the batch it won't hurt a thing just don't want them all in there because they create a lot of moisture and that's what we're trying to get rid of before we make our chow chow so I'm just gonna continue and cut up these cucumbers and I'll be back shortly and we'll do some peppers.